In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a very simple play that you can utilize out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. This is going to be a really, really good play for beating man and for beating zone as well. It's got a little bit of a concept to it that's similar to the gun bunch out of the Atlanta Falcons playbook. So let's jump into it. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I just want to welcome you. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And my channel is devoted to helping you get better at Madden, right? I just really believe that as you have built more resources, more coaching, more videos, more content, more material, that is one thing that is going to help you get better in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Because again, we upload four videos a day, four of these videos that are designed to give you something to chew on, something to think about, um, something to apply into your game. And we also live stream every single night where you can ask your questions and be able to get those questions answered live on stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I'd love to have you come check that out. All right, guys, let's jump into the video today. We're talking about the um, we're talking about a very, very nice little route combo out of the gun split close playbook or formation that can be found in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. And we're going to break this down out of dollar. I'm going to throw a safety in here just to get a little bit better coverage. And we're going to come out in the cover two man. And we got everything else in there that we need. The play we're going to be going over is split close. Now, what you want to do with this, you want to have your best wide receiver on the left side, Savante Adams. On the right side, I like to have this to be a fast guy. And then here, I like to put a quantum of St. Brown in here. Now, one thing you can do with this, what's really nice about this, is you can actually go to the uh, tight end at fullback package. And that will allow you to audible into the rest of your plays um, from this formation or from this playbook. So the play we're going to be going over is the play wide receiver corner. It's a very, very solid play. And uh, I haven't talked about the split close a lot, but split close is really, really, really good and really, really effective. All right, guys, so let's jump in here. So first and foremost, the first thing you're going to do, there's really no adjustments necessary. Um, the only thing I would do is take the running back on the left side and put him on an option route. Option routes from split close um, are really, really effective. And I want to show you this against man-to-man. -man. First and foremost, um, the shaded coverage outside, shaded coverage over the top meta that you're going to be facing. And you'll see that I can low ball this ball to Marquez Valdez Scantling. This route really does a good job against a lot of the meta defenses because they are going to have to user it. Okay, they're going to have to use this route. And compression formations like split close and like gun tight are really good this year because the user can't cover everything like he could in years past. And so you can see I can consistently throw that low ball. Now what's nice about it is I can throw that low ball against any type of man-to-man -man coverage. Um, whether they be cross man, whether they be outside man, it doesn't really matter. In fact, let me show you um, – let me show you if I were to take this safety on the outside here and put him in a cross manning assignment, you'll see here, same thing, low ball, that's wide open. Now, what's really nice about it is, again, you can low ball it. So, like, if they're throwing those purple zones out there, you'll see here the purple zones are out there. Purple zones aren't going to do anything to this because this flat route by Mercedes Lewis uh, by your tight end is going to pull that flat zone out, and you're going to be able to fit that in right underneath the 20-yard uh, the, the purple zones that you're going to be facing. What's also nice about this play is against man-to-man, -man, this uh, route to St. Brown, you're going to see that he is going to get an outside release. Now, if they if there's safeties over the top, you do not want to throw it. Right there was a bad decision by me to throw it. But if, and this is a big if, if they press you and they take their safeties away, so maybe they're playing one step ahead, or I'm sorry, bench press type of meta, you're going to see that he's going to get off his press and he's going to get a nice outside lob streak. Uh, basically to be able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage if they take the safeties away. Now, let's say they go to their coverage, and you're seeing that we're also going to be getting a nice little man switch um, between Brown and Mercedes Lewis. So this is the shade coverage outside and shading coverage over the top. And what you'll see here is, once again, um, you see there, there's a nice little swerve rat catch for Brown, and that's what Gunslinger is the best ability in the game, in my opinion. It just allows you to throw the ball um, in places that they just, you know, you just can't. So that's why I recommend everybody pick up a Brett Favre or a Josh Allen. But you'll see, this is an okay route. Um, it, it, if they shade coverage over top, it's not going to really be there. The throw's not really going to be there. So you, you know, in a situation where if you know they're running that, I would put him uh, on a slant route. If, if you were really trying to just destroy all man-to-man, -man, you'll see there that slant route does work pretty, 
work fairly well as long as the running back um, as long as the running back is not in the way so you'll see here if we just put him on a little swing pattern um, you'll see you see that gets over the man-to-man -man coverage like that but I also wanted to talk about this play against zone against zone it does just fine as well um, a lot of people like to run cover three against this formation but what you'll see is these little quick flat routes um, force the opponent to have to mabel both sides of the field. So they're going to have to play, um, you know, basically what you're going to do is you're going to force them to pick. You know, are you going to try to take Mercedes Lewis out of the play? And you see here, these are five-yard flats. You can still fit that route in. You can still fit that in very easily if you throw it at the break. So what I mean by throwing it at the break is throw it right at snap of the ball. Snap, throw, and you see here you've got a nice um, – You've got a really nice little quick pass. This quick pass can beat most coverages in the game. It can it can beat. Whoops, I'm sorry. It, uh, I meant to throw to the to the tight end. It can beat man to man as well. Um, you'll see here if I just hit this quick right there. You see he is going to get that separation. And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal quick pass that you can use. Now one thing you can do if you want to, um, and you're in a situation, maybe you're in a situation where you're fourth and short or or whatever, and you really need to get that yard. You could motion Valdez Scantling out, and you'll see that he is going to kind of help create some separation for you um, as you go about getting this this little quick route. But this quick route to the to the back here, right of the backfield, I think does a quick a, a really good job at beating a lot of the things that people are going to want to do. Um, and then you'll see here this post route to Devontae Adams torches man to man, especially if you have a route technician right there. So that's what what's going to force to do is they're going to be forced to choose are they going to guard mercedes lewis and then what's really nice about this route is this c route is going to break to the outside very very easily against the zone coverage and so you know even if they have purple zones these let me show you this with purples so these are purple zones um you see here you can low ball um you can actually low ball this route uh against purple zone so what that's going to mean is they're going to have to either use her the post route against zone or they're going to have to use her um, MVS Marquez Valdez Scantling. You'll see here he's going to go out right there. Click on, and you're just going to possession catch that. You see how the flat route from the from the running back is going to pull. Oftentimes is going to pull um, anything anything out there. So here we've got a Mabel coverage on the right side of the field, and what you'll see is I can easily just hit that in that pocket against his own defense. Right. What's really also one other thing that I will recommend is you can actually take St. Brown here, and you can put him on just a little baby hitch route if you want to. Um, this is going to hold those yellow zones, and it's going to continue to open up those windows of opportunity for you as well, um, as well as kind of pave the way for those underneath routes. So, like, you'll see here the cover two. See how the cover two is going to completely take that? That's because those hook curls, those vertical hook curls, are shaded at five yards. Now, if those were shaded at 10 or 15 yards, they would then you would have the hitch route very very simply and very very easily so this just really kind of allows you to have a lot more of opportunity in my opinion and it really forces them to kind of decide what they're going to take away because if you throw the hitch route out there you're either going to have the hitch route you're going to have the post route and what's really cool and what's really unique about this formation specifically with spit close is you this this wide receiver on the right side of the screen is on the line of scrimmage so if they can't press him he's unbumpable you can low ball that against man all day as long as you run hitch routes on the line of scrimmage they are really 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 effective and then i'll show you here uh, against the cover three cover three is going to probably give you the hardest time but you'll still be able to hit those low balls to marquez about a scaling and basically what you're going to do is you're going to wait um you're going to simply wait until he gets starts that cut to the outside low ball and you see how it's going to give him that nice little back shoulder uh, catching animation. So all in all, guys, this is a really, really good play. Um, the route on the left side is is going to have to be user as well. You see the yellows are going to come under, underneath. They're going to have to face the fact that that is going to be vulnerability for them. Um, you know, it's just not an easy play to stop. And this post route, in my opinion, really does help this help this take this route to the next level. One thing you can also do with this play if you want to, again, you can do a lot with motion, right? I can motion Devontae Adams out just like this right here. And now this is essentially a split close bunch to the right. And then you've got the wide receiver on the left really threaten 
like the spacing of the place. So a lot of really, really good things from this. Now, real quick before we take off, I do want to let you know if you have not already signed up for my texting membership. Um, you can sign up for that today. All you have to do is text me. My number's in the top left of the screen. Just text me. Let me know you want to be signed up for that. Basically, what you get with the text membership is you are going to be getting access to one video every single week that I'm going to send to you in a personal text message. Um, and literally what the video is going to entail is it is going to be a meta vault update. It's going to be a meta um, kind of like a essentially a summary of what's been going on in Madden 21 and what we can learn from what all has just happened. And also um, what I'm trying to do with this is make this as high level as I possibly can. So for those of you guys that really, really want the the meat and potatoes, just the meat and potatoes of where man's at right now and really want to kind of dive into detail on why things are the way they are, that is a great, great place to start. So I'd encourage you to just pull out your cell phone right now, send me a text message, sign up for the text membership, and I'm just telling you, again, it's going to be really, really good material. Only people that are subscribed to the text messages are going to – are going to um, – are going to get that my standard youtube followers will not get that so it's kind of that next level if you really 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 go to the next level i would recommend starting with that texting membership it's completely free to you to do um, but also guys we got a lot of other stuff good coming on our channel so make sure you're subscribed to it and if you guys are looking for better lab partners i would encourage you to jump in my community discord that link is in the description and if you don't have an offense or if you're looking for an offense or defensive guide i have a really really good competitive editor's guide in the description of this video that lays out my full offense, my full defense, over 100 pages, over 10 hours of video material for you to really understand the nuts and bolts and the fine detail points of what it takes to be successful in Madden 21. Thank you so much for your time. Got a couple videos coming on our channel, so make sure to be checking back to the channel regularly because we post four videos a day, and we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern.